Hello, hello, flower friends. I'm Jessica with CR Flower Farm, and welcome to 5 Minute Flower Friday, where you can find almost everything you need to know to grow, harvest, and design with all different types of fluffy beauties in five minutes or under. Today, we are talking all about ranunculus, and I couldn't be more excited to share the rose of spring with you. Ranunculus are the floofs of the flower world with their charming layers of delicate petals that look ready to adorn a mystical fairy. Elegant, unique, and even approachable, ranunculus are charming in mixed bouquets or as a center of a design for a grand wedding. They are my absolute favorites for spring to early summer weddings for their versatility and ability to handle being out of water without wilting. They have an incredible vase life Ranunculus are just amazing. Now that we've gushed enough to get you hooked on growing these beauties, let's jump into all the nitty gritty information. Ranunculus are grown from corms. When purchasing corms, there are various sizes to choose from. In general, the larger the size corm, the more robust the plant. If you live in a harsher climate, you may find value investing in the larger size corms. Typically, you don't wanna go below a size three, four. Most importantly though, find a reputable wholesaler to purchase from. The corms will come to you looking like creepy dried calamari since they are sent dormant until you decide it's time to break that dormancy. You wake up ranunculus by plumping them up. This is done by soaking the corms in water for about three to four hours. There are many different methods to do this, but water in time is consistent across all of them. From soaking, you can plant the corms out directly into their prepared growing beds, or you can take one additional step and pre-sprout the corms in a substrate under ideal conditions, which is dark and cool at about 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Grow them until the roots are about a minimum one inch long, then plant out. Just keep in mind, this additional step will take a week or two. Ranunculus will stay in peak production for about three to four weeks, then they start getting tired and protesting shooting smaller flowers and weaker stems. To keep the best product, you can succession plant ranunculus in fall through early spring in three to four week intervals. Your succession start date and subsequent plantings will depend on your growing climate and infrastructure. In terms of spacing, ranunculus can be planted fairly close, anywhere from four to nine inches. We plant seven by seven inches where they get enough room so they're not overcrowded, but still close enough to create healthy competition for better stem length. Ranunculus are a little needy when it comes to cold, damp weather. Ranunculus like that Mediterranean wet-like weather. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Ranunculus prefer temperatures not too hot and not too cold, just right. Micro tunnels, double low tunnels, or high tunnels during the winter and early spring months help to keep the ranunculus from getting waterlogged and frost snipped, which could result in crop failure. Depending on your growing climate and infrastructure, you can have ranunculus begin producing in early spring through late spring. Once the summer equinox draws near between the longer daylight hours and higher temperatures, the ranunculus begin to shut down, yellowing and not producing blooms, instead putting their energy back into the corms. To extend harvest, providing shade cloth may help, to keep them producing a little longer, but like all good things, there is a time when it is the end and it's best to say goodbye until the next season. Ranunculus are pretty big eaters. Properly prepared soil with slow release fertilizer and a regular feeding of your preferred fertilizer will make them happy, which will reward you tremendously. Watch out for stem rot, botrytis, and crown rot, pest management, fungicide treatments, keeping the roots from sitting in cold, damp conditions, and proper crop rotation can help alleviate these issues. Aphids and thrips like to make ranunculus their home, if allowed, hiding in the folds of the petals and under leaves. Ranunculus can be harvested as early as the bud beginning to color up. It may just take some extra time for them to open post-harvest, but it is great for holding them in the cooler longer. More commonly, ranunculus can be harvested as soon as the bud feels like a squishy marshmallow. Think big jet puff camping, mallow kind of squishy. This stage is best if you are looking to be able to long store the ranunculus, but intend on selling locally. For event work or to give a show to your customers, you can also allow the ranunculus to open more in the field before harvesting. To harvest ranunculus, you are going to take your clippers or harvesting knife and cut down to the ground, even if the stem has side buds. Be sure to strip any leaves that will sit below water. You can disbud side buds for an extended vase life. As with many flowers, optimal time to harvest ranunculus is early in the morning when the plants are nicely hydrated and full of good energy. 
In the peak of the season, you will need a good harvesting daily or every other day. Ranunculus aren't too picky when it comes to post-harvesting care, but in the least, be sure to place harvested stems into a clean bucket with a chlorine tablet. Ranunculus do great in the cooler, but before placing them in there, make sure flower heads don't have any moisture. Store them at 36 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. They can store well for two to five days. However, if you don't have a cooler, keep them in a cool dark room and move them after the first 24 hours of harvesting. Ranunculus have been known to be ethylene sensitive, so be aware of that when storing. Ranunculus have an incredible vase life. When harvested at the appropriate stage, expect five to seven days vase life, if not upwards of two weeks. Ranunculus can be used as a focal flower or a disc component, a popular flower to use in wedding work with its elegance, but also approachable enough for a mixed bouquet. Ranunculus flowers and buds are amazing to use in wearable designs such as boutonnieres or floral crowns. We have had these amazing flowers open large enough to even compete with peonies. Well, there you have it. Almost everything you need to know about Ranunculus in five minutes or under. Ranunculus easily steal the show in spring and more than deserve their place as the rose of spring. A long face life, their versatile roughly blooms will steal your heart and the hearts of your customers, making all the pampering it demands more than worth it. To get more details on the soaking and pre-sprouting processes, check out the links below. Until next time, we are looking forward to helping you hand bloom soon.